hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl roxy for those of you who are new as you guys can see by the title today is relaxer day my hair is four months post relaxer i've been wearing wigs all summer and i just thought since i've been wearing wigs i don't need to relax my hair my hair has grown up quite a bit so it's time for a relaxer the relaxer i'm using is the ors relaxer the olive oil relaxer in normal strength and i'm using a scalp protector to base my hairline so that i don't burn along my hairline or, or anywhere on my skin really so my hair is not too dirty i prefer to relax it when it's dirty however um it's been i probably washed my hair like uh, it's been seven days since I washed my hair, so it could be a lot dirtier and it's molded into a ponytail still So these are not ideal situations to relax my hair, but I'm still Gonna go ahead and do it because I so desperately need to do so I did listen to one of the comments that was made from my subscribers She said girl. I'm just gonna sum it up. She said girl um, your hair um, th this is the least sleek I've seen your hair and I think you should just relax it while you're trying to grow it out And I actually agreed with her. So I decided to give you guys a relaxer video and relax my hair So as you guys can see I'm starting with the back portion of my hair I like to work at the back because that's where I have um, the most new growth and At the front I don't want it to over process especially around the hairline because it's most gentle most tender so I'm just spreading it through the back using my dye brush. So I either use my dye brush or just my hands, but either one works for me. And I'm just taking my time and putting it through, you know, each section. As I get to the top, I'm just parting it out because I have more length there. Usually I try to work on the roots, but eventually you'll see that I ended up putting the relaxer almost everywhere. I do have a lot of new growth. This is four months of new growth. I also set a timer for this relaxer for about 11 minutes. So I wanted it to be as quick as possible. And I was also going by the guidelines on the, on the relaxer bottle. I believe it said about 11 minutes for medium for fine to medium hair but i could be wrong I'm, I'm gonna put that on the screen just to be sure but i did relax my hair for about 11 minutes maybe i went about a minute over um, as i was trying to prepare my products for my rinse for the washout so i'm going section by section here so i'm going section by section here just being sure to leave the hairline for the end because i i want it to process the um at the end i want it to process very little very minimal very minimally if you guys know what i mean um because it's most brittle and honestly because i've been wearing so many wigs and gluing my wigs for the past four months it's very fragile around there so i don't want to over process it because i don't want it to break down any more than it already is so now that I have the relaxer throughout my hair, I'm going to take my fine tooth tail comb and make sure that I comb the relaxer throughout my hair from root to tip, especially at the back. And just make sure that it gets through everywhere and, and to just make sure it gets through my like through every strand of hair. So I try to do this part as quick as possible because as I'm starting to comb through, I noticed that I had about two minutes left. So I really needed to work it through so that I don't over process my hair. I don't want the relaxer to be in my hair for, you know, no longer than 15 minutes, but as short as possible. I just wanted to be able for it to process so that I can have a sleek look if I do a nice little flat iron or if I do a nice little wrap. But for this purpose, I am going to be doing a ponytail, as you guys will see in my next video coming up. So it does take a lot of energy to comb it through. My hands are extremely tired at this point, but I know I got to keep on working and going because I want to make sure that I don't start burning too 
I don't start getting burns or burning too quickly in other areas. If you cannot do this on your own, if you don't think you can, it's most it's very important that you go get it professional professionally done or have somebody assist you. I've been relaxing my own hair for years now, so it's a it's a bit easier for me, and especially because my hair is short, so I don't have that issue. So to rinse to wash my hair, I am using the Motions Neutralizing Shampoo. I'm also going to be shampooing my hair with the OGX Coconut Curls and I'm going to give my hair a nice little treatment using the Shea Moisture Intensive Moisture Treatment. So before I put the neutralizing shampoo in, I'm just making sure that I rinse out all of the relaxer first before I add any shampoo. So I'm just rinsing it out with some cool water um, and it's important for me that the water is cool because with the hot water if you do put hot water on your scalp it does um burn or you can feel it more i can't can't really explain it. the cool water kind of just cools it down a bit so now i'm just going in with the neutralizing shampoo to neutralize the relaxer and balance the ph in my hair and i don't know if you can tell but as i'm washing it you can see that the suds are a little bit purple it has the color the neutralizer has the color alarm in it so i'm washing my hair until i'm giving my hair washes until i notice that the foam is no longer purple or pink so once the foam and the suds are completely white that means that my hair is completely neutralized and that there's no more relaxer in my hair So I, I ended up neutralizing my hair for about three washes before I noticed that the, the suds were no longer pink or purple. And then I continued with the OGX Coconut Curls Shampoo. So I used just the shampoo and to condition my hair, I used the Shea Moisture Intensive Moisture Treatment. So this is my relaxed hair. So I'm just blow drying my hair right now. Um, whilst I'm blow drying it, I did put some Chi Iron Guard and some Tresemme, Tresemme Thermal Creations Technique. So these are um, heat protectors for my hair. So I'm just putting that in before I completely blow dry it. And I am going to be styling my hair into a ponytail with some side bangs. So if you guys wanna see that video, how I transform my short hair, into a nice sleek ponytail look be sure to check out the next video i'm going to link it below once it's available guys thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're new and as usual i will see you guys in my next video bye